When you're a drama student, I think the most you hope for is to make a living out of acting. We're characters not of this world, so our knowledge about stuff, that other characters don't have, is quite fun. Trying to find a human side to the character is a way to give them a chance to have people like them. The fact that you can say stuff to people that other people are only thinking is always fun. It's a great tool for comedic moments, as well. I've been acting for many years, and the more you do, the more confidence you get about, this is my career and this is what I'm going to be doing. I wanted to work on a cable show and with a writer, director because that's a much more fulfilling and freeing experience, as an actor. Being a son of the pastor, I was never allowed to play Joseph or any of the big parts for political reasons. When you have hardcore fans of something like Miranda, people can't see you any other way than Gary Preston, which is fair enough. What people like to comment on a lot is that I grew up in a religious family, my father is a pastor, and now I'm playing the devil. Thankfully, my family see the humorous side of the job. This is going to sound so boring, but I play golf in Hertfordshire at a club called Sandy Lodge just by Moore Park Tube Station. It's where I unwind and don't think about anything else. There's something really charming about a character that is fundamentally flawed and does some pretty despicable things, but yet you still kind of love him. The weird thing about drama school is that you train for three years for one thing, and then, more often than not, it's something that you haven't trained for that you end up doing. Lucifer has a sense of fun about life. He just likes to play with people. But the sense of humor of the show is what makes the show entertaining as opposed to dark. It's an old joke, all evil people in movies are British. It's always fun to play bad characters. I've worked a lot in comedy. As much as I love playing dramatic roles, it's always nice to be able to have some humor around when working. I grew up on the very human side of Christianity, so messages in the household I grew up in were about peace, love, and being understanding of everybody, which I think is quite cool. The thing about Lucifer is that by the end of the first season, his world is falling apart a bit. Anyone that he could call an ally or trust, he now can't, and that leaves him in a place that he's never been before. When I was eight or nine, I came to London for the day from Swindon and went to the National Gallery. I remember standing in Trafalgar Square with my best friend Tim, who was covered in pigeons because I put bird seed on his head. One of the big parts of my decision-making process is knowing that when you're signing up for something, you're signing up for multiple seasons, should it be successful, and in theory, you want it to be successful, but you also want to be doing something that you're enjoying. 